say, Oprah, that in response to this officer right here, when most of us call the police, we do expect help to come. Uh -huh. But oftentimes that don't happen, as in my particular situation. Now, I'm a homeowner in the Chatham area, and August 31st, I was threatened by a next-door neighbor of mine whose brother just happened to be a police officer. Hmm. Now, on many different occasions, she's, this person has threatened me and my family, and when we called the police, they came and t had taken their side. This particular day, and I you had... you think the reason they took the other people's side is because the brother's a police officer? Yes, I do believe so. Mm -hmm. Now, August 31st, uh, I was uh, coming home with my mother to uh, enjoy the holiday weekend with the grandchildren and so forth. And upon arriving home, uh, this lady was standing on my property threatening my wife that she had received a letter from our attorney asking her to remove an encroaching fence and that she wasn't going to remove it and if we touched the fence that she was going to shoot us. So what happened? I called the police. I went in the house and I called 911 three times. About an hour later, they sent a police out. When the officer got there, he went to the lady's house next door. Pardon me. My mom, my wife, and myself, we went out to approach the police to tell him our side of the story. Yeah. The guy came down these people's stairs, searched me. I told the officer I don't, didn't have anything, that I was the one being threatened. The officer told me to step over here, meaning onto her property. I said, no, officer, I don't believe that I want to do that. The guy walked up to me. He's about 230 pounds, about six feet two, grabbed me by the throat, wrestled me to the ground, at this point, I somehow got up. My mother said, officer, you didn't have to do him like this. I got up. The guy threw me back down when the other officers arrived and beat me in the back of the head. And I was bleeding everywhere. When they took me to the station, one of the older cops had asked uh, the rest of the police to call for an ambulance. I was told four hours that the ambulance was coming. But when they let me out on the I bond, they told me, go get a damn uh, doctor yourself. I fell out on 84th and Halsted. And wow. It, and it was awful. So what are you doing about that? Well, I'm suing. And, you know, this is because, well, most people think, well, you know, like all black young men are some kind of criminal. Now, I'm not saying all people think this, but most people would look at a person like myself. I'm stressed out from going through a lot of things, and I see your eyes is, you know, really looking bad. And they would think that I'm on drugs or something, but I'm a family man. I have a home, and I'm trying to persevere and be positive. And I don't think that I was treated right, nor my constitutional rights were protected. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.